Hi friends, welcome back to Lost Without a Plan. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Amanda Lynn and today we're gonna to take a look at my Moxie Life and set some goals for the month of May. And then we're also going to look behind the curtain at my Trello board and I'm going to show you how I use Trello to help me plan my month. If that sounds like fun, hit the like button and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so I'm gonna start by showing you my monthly view. I have laid this out with some stickers. I just dated it because it was undated and I plan on using this for my reading log this month. I'm just trying something new with that. And then um, for my monthly goals, I have already wrote them down so it would be nice and easy. Um, for my personal goals, I have um, a plan to read four books, but I have three of them here. I haven't, uh, I'm actually really ahead on my reading goal. So I'm not sure if like if I don't end up reading more books, I'll be fine with it. But then I, for the channel, I wanna do two videos, three reels, and I have some PR posts that I have to work on. So my goal for this month, the focus will be progress in this category. And then for fun and recreation, obviously we have Mother's Day um, and we have a bunch of wacky holidays on the schedule and then I want to try and schedule some birthday fun because I haven't really celebrated my birthday in a while and I think it will be better if I do something for myself and then um, I want to take my daughter to the strawberry festival and I think I'm gonna make um, the subject for this one be be present and then for work and learning, I have my magazine deadline, I have a booklet for the Ballet Academy, and I have a couple of things that I'm finishing up for freelance, so my goal here is to keep chugging. <laughs> and then for family and relationships, I need to remember to call my mom on mom Mother's Day. I have Girl Scouts family meetings, and then um, a family movie night, we're trying to do that every month now, and then I have baking with a friend, that's part of the Girl Scouts event. And then for health and learning, I want to do 10 times Pilates and eight times walks. My walks are kind of struggling, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to get that done, but I'm going to try for it. And then of course, skincare, vitamins, and self-care. So for spiritual and learning, I have my learning this month will be with Purpose Driven Mom, the round table, and my monthly planning session. And then for personal growth, I have my Girl Scouts leader meeting, management meeting, and then I want to make sure that I'm reflecting. To go back for my focus on health and learning, I want to be consistent. And for spiritual learning, what should I do here? Um, this is one I always struggle with. I think I'm going to choose reflect because I feel like that always gets me back on task. And then for finances, I need to do my payroll deposits, my billing, my expense law, and, and then I also want to work on a low spend month. And then for home, for physical environment, I need to declutter my living room and um, I want to do my weekly car tidy and a car wash. And uh, oh, um, for focus. Let's do one step at a time because that's how it feels with decluttering. <laughs> and then for finances, I'm just going to put be proactive. So that's it for my May goals in Moxie Life. And then I've already started out with my weekly actions for week one. This week is my deadline week and that's always um, a bit stressful. So we're trying to keep it light. I only have a few more pages to read in the Hawthorne book um the second book of the in inheritance games hawthorne legacy and then for girl scouts they haven't decided on that book yet at the time that i'm filming this so i'm just going to leave that blank and fill it in um i have two videos three reels and then my pr check-ins i just have to remember to check the page that i am pring for nicole alexia designs um more often so that I can share her items out and then for fun and rec there are three wacky holidays I have my magazine deadline and then I have to bake at my friend Carla's house that's for Violet's Girl Scout meeting which is um, the family story meeting and then I'm actually going to remove this from here um, because I wanted it down on family and relationships because there's some 
family stuff we have to do for that one. For health and wellness, um, I have Pilates three times, walking two times, and working on my habits. And then I'm not really sure if I'm going to get to this one. It's visiting a local church on Wednesday morning. And um, it's just that that timeline doesn't really work usually, but it might. So I figured I would try it. And then um, finances, I have my May orders that I need to make and then um, my payroll deposit. And then I want to declutter the surfaces, tidy and reset. So that is it for my Moxie Life um, flip through. And really, I'm not really sure how the PR posts are going to work. So this is just kind of my focus for the month. I'm going to do my best to be a good PR team person. <laughs> Anyways, let me um, switch to the computer and then I will show you how I do the back end planning in my Trello board. Okay, we are in Trello. I generally start my monthly planning by looking back at the last month and seeing all of my wins. Um, and I have this cute little confetti thing that happens just by putting this little marker in the top header that every time I finish something, obviously I only did nine of 10 Pilates, but it's fun to move it over there. And then I look back at my quarter two goals to see what things I want to drag on to May. And um, as you can see, I've also updated, since April's the first of the quarter, I've updated my May goals to show off that I have completed nine in April so that it's easier at the end because I'm doing it every month. Um, part of my finance goals was April's taxes and I completed all three of my finance goals for the quarter. Um, for my personal course, I have my PDM roundtable um, and then I have I had a, an application out for my April goals and I completed it so it's moving on to the next step. I'm just double checking that everything has happened. Obviously I wanted to go camping. Um, with my family, so that's part of um, my fun and recreation. I have it twice, the next time we're planning to go is in June. Um, for books, I read eight books in the month of April, so I am way ahead on my goal for this month. I really only need to read two, but it's always better to get ahead early on, because then when you hit like December and November and you're busy and you can't really read, then you're already ahead, right? So, um, yeah, so that's my quarter two goals. And I just, I'm using some Trello uh, widgets in Google Chrome that makes it, um, I'll, I'll list them down below, the ones that I use. I can't really remember what they're called right now. <laughs> um, so for May focus, I want to make sure that I schedule a hair appointment for my birthday. And so I'm gonna put this on the day after deadline and that might move around, but um, I just need to decide where I'm going to go and what I'm, what days I'm going to be able to do it. And then we have our Girl Scout meeting. This, these are all, I've already placed all of my timed things and now I'm just kind of moving in my fit wherever it has to go goals. Like um, for Girl Scouts, our next book club is on May 9th, so I moved that over there. And then I have We Should Be Millionaires, which is May 31st, and The Great Alone. Those are all three book club books, so I'm putting in the date that the book club meeting is so that I know like the very last minute that I can read the book. <laughs> um, and I kind of put them about a week before so that I can start in and get it done. And then um, when I'm working on my decluttering goal, I have um, usually have a checklist in here and I'll just move it from week to week just so that it stays top of mind. Um, some other events that I um, need to do is I need to plan on making a Father's Day gift for my stepdad. My sister sent me an idea, so I want to do that in time to mail it over. And then um, so after I have all of those things in, then I grab my logistics, which has my health and wellness goals, um, which is Pilates. So then I have copied and pasted the days and times of my Pilates schedule, and then I place them in each week. And then, um, as you can see, I've broke down my monthly goals and my weekly goals. And, um, these are the monthly tasks down here 
and that is it for that and then um, for my to-do list here I marked my Trello board that I use for that so I can click there easily and then I have the three tasks that I have to do each week to make sure that I stay ahead and then um, as you can see some of these have covers so that's what that yellow bar is you can choose to have it be a full bar or a partial bar up here at the top and let's see um, the way that I do this is I copy this list and I move it to every single week so I will copy my logistics one and move it in front of every week of May and then once that is done then I will move the cards from the list this is a little tedious I might fast forward you through when I am editing <laughs> One more, okay, and then I do an extra one so that I have it ready for next time and I can make edits to that so that I'm not making it every single week. And then um, I just go down here to move cards to the list and then I choose the next list and then I archive the list that I copied. And then everything is placed in the exact same order that it is in the list at the bottom of the other one. And then as you can see I've moved in my May Wins folder, I have the Health and Pilates hike training and monthly moxie planning tasks over there so I could just check them all off at the end. Next up, I take a look at my Pilates and as you can see, I've copied and pasted them. So I just add them all to the correct list for each week. And then it'll show up as a little checkbox at the top. So then I just grab the one for the second week and place it and you can just copy and paste a whole list and it'll just make a different checklist for all of them. As you can see, I have like, in the last week of the month, I do my expenses and my freelance billing over here. And um, then I have my meetings mixed in. I have some fun. I, I love that the labels coincide with the Moxie Life colors, except for the pink, which is the color that they use to signify the Purpose Driven Mom Club. Um, and then, I, as, as I go through each step of the brochure design, I can move it from week to week until the May 22nd when it should be off at press. So that's how I keep track of my freelance stuff in Trello as well. Anyways, I hope that this was fun for you to watch, a little behind the scenes peek, and thank you so much for planning with me today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I'll catch you later.